Let there be steel. Gavin Gay here from UltimateReloader.com. I'm here with Seth Gardner from DM Targets. Thanks, Seth, for dropping by. Thanks for inviting me, man. Pleasure to be here. This is going to be a little bit of a preview because Seth is getting me set up and decked out with a whole bunch of steel targets. This is going to be awesome because now I'll have literally a training arena for fast action pistol shooting, for PRS long range rifle shooting. This is going to enable me to get my, both my content and my skills up to the next level. So what I wanted you all to do was to get to know Seth just a little bit and to hear about his company, DM Targets and what he does, his products, and how he makes them, why he makes them, that kind of thing. So Seth, tell us a little bit about how you got into this whole steel target game. Well, I started shooting competitively and realized I, um, I wanted to shoot more. And mm -hmm. it's an expensive game. And I started making targets so I could shoot more and so I could improve my skills and so I could get more people out there shooting. And that's what I've done and we've just grown with it and we love it. That's why I started reloading. <laughs> I got a 44 Magnum and was thinking, hey, 50 bucks a week in ammo, I can't swing this right now. Yeah. It's a great way to enable your hobby is to turn your hobby eventually, maybe accidentally into a business. That's what happened with me. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, <laughs> us too. Uh, this was our my side gig. I did it on the side for a couple years and just this last year we were able to go full time and we're really excited. That's awesome. Yeah. And you shoot PRS, you shoot rim fire. Tell us about the different kind of shooting you like to do. So the bulk of my personal shooting is uh, like precision rifle and then uh, is the precision rim fire, which is really growing. It's so much fun. Um, mm -hmm. And I, I do want to get more into some of the pistol side of things, but those mm -hmm. are my two main things right now. And then just shooting for fun. Just going out, taking the kids playing again. It's just, it's great. This is going to be a great year for you and I to collaborate because this year I'm bringing some room fire stuff here onto the channel and I'm going to get big into it. It's going to be, a, you know, a ton of fun. Uh, I've been really heavy on rifle content here on the channel. Mm -hmm. uh, I just got the Canik TP9 SFX this last year. It's funny, you brought yours as well and we're going to be shooting those in the Finlay Cup yes. uh, this coming month. I feel like that's an area I too want to grow in tremendously is, you know, I can shoot a pistol accurately, but I can't get on target quickly and hit a whole bunch of steel targets in a short period of time. So for that for me is a challenge. It's like setting my OCD aside and getting fast, you know? Yeah, and that all comes down to practice and mm -hmm. how do you practice? You shoot and you shoot steel. You get instant feedback and it's great. And I'm breaking things. <laughs> 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 and and that, that's where the steel targets come in because yep. you can get out there and you can just, just, just lay, slay the steel, get instant feedback, know exactly what's going on, mm -hmm. and improve your skills and have mm -hmm. fun. Absolutely. So. so tell us a little bit about DM targets. Tell us about the different types of products that you do and how they're a little bit different from some of the competition. So our products are more geared towards rifle, but we've got stuff for pistol. Most of our targets are designed to hang on a T post with a like our, our key hook hanger mm -hmm. like this. Uh, we've got the key lock system, which is a, a very stout system that still allows the target to move a lot. All mm -hmm. of our stuff is free hanging and, and loud and reactive. That was one of our, our big design criteria, is when you hit that still, you need to know you hit the still. And we want the still just to ring and sing so that there's no question, mm -hmm. and all of our stuff does. It also adds the longevity of the still, because it allows it to uh, to diminish that energy instead of just being absorbed mm -hmm. into a, a hanger system. We were talking yesterday about some of my targets and how I'm blowing bolts mm -hmm. and how I'm cracking welds. You know, this is just stuff I've gotten from friends and all that. It, making a good steel target is not as easy as some people would think. You're absolutely correct. There's a lot of little details that go into it that make a good steel target versus something that's not going to last mm -hmm. the test of time and it's not going to sing, it's not going to move. Um, yeah. What I like about your products, and this, this hanger is a, is a great example, is I'm in steep terrain here and I've got to be able to pack a single T-post in and a, a, or maybe use two to hang two different targets and use a driver and hopefully set up a target just using that single T-post. And why don't you describe real quick how that hanging system works? And to me, it's a great solution because you just sit it right on top, hang your target, and you go. Oh, absolutely. So yeah, this is our key hook hanger. Uh, one side is, is our standard hook. This is our original hanger. And mm -hmm. then this end is our key lock, uh, which they both serve the same function. This is compatible with 
even more stilled than just ours. Um, and mm -hmm. this is really good at restraining targets. And how it works is you drive your T-post and this just drops in on the top. Mm -hmm. One of four ways. It's stupid simple. No tools, <laughs> no wrenches, no nothing. Love it. And then for the, if you're gonna engage the, the key lock end of it, just goes in, turns 90 degrees. Nice. Target moves, but even with it like this, <laughs> and it, you can it, it hear doesn't. that the steel can ring like a tuning fork almost. Oh, oh, so there's I, no damping there. It's just absolutely. I mean, I'm just gonna wrap this with my knuckle. And, yeah. You know, we, we get good ring out of it. And then the hook end works absolutely the same. Um, mm -hmm. And this works great for larger targets where you don't have to worry about it coming off the hook. Yep. And uh, it's just a really good system. It's simple. This is a completely AR500 hanger. So the so this can take the hits mm -hmm. and not fail. Mm -hmm. And that's what we want. We want our customers to buy, buy once and not have to uh, not have to constantly be replacing these components because we design them to last. You should be adding to your steel collection and adding to your portfolio of targets, not replacing broken stuff, right? Precisely. <laughs> you can yes. never get enough steel. <laughs> that, that is true. That is true. Um, we also, uh, I don't have anything with me, but we do a bunch of rimfire stuff too mm -hmm. as well. And uh, that's, just, that's just so much fun. Mm -hmm. uh, a hook system, a uh, little two-piece hanger, step into the ground, easy to transport, easy to set up. And yeah, which I think 22 stuff should be because it's for your kids and, yep. and the family. You want to be able to pull it out of the back seat of the truck, set it up and go shooting. So, so with the, the basic portfolio of steel targets, you've got rounds, you've got IP6, you've got hangers. We've got a coyote here, which is kind of one of the specialty targets. Mm -hmm. You also brought, and we don't have it right here, uh, a bobcat. You've got a bunch of cool specialty targets as well. Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, we've got a whole range of animals. I mean, we've got a jackalope target. <laughs> and, you know, we've got a Sasquatch target. And Do you have a liger yet? I don't have a lager. I could make one though. Okay. Uh, that is one thing we do. We do a lot of custom work for people. I get yep. customers call me up and say, hey, I want this specific target that's this specific size and this specific shape. Can you make it happen? Mm -hmm. And we do when we can. Sometimes it just doesn't work, but mm -hmm. uh, is we try to make what they want come true and we do a lot of custom one-off stuff. Speaking of custom work, I was kind of surprised and dazzled. So I told Seth, you know, it would really be awesome if you could bring a two MOA target for my thousand yard range, right? Because if I've got a little bit more wind or a little bit more uncertainty or a new shooter, it really helps to have a little bit more area to get that hit. And then of course I can go down to my 10 inch target. Well, I was picturing just, you know, a big gray piece of steel, a big square or something like that. But Seth created a stencil for me and he painted up this awesome UR logo target it's a 20 by 20 this is going to be absolutely outstanding i don't even know if i i, I might actually hang it on the wall i might have <laughs> <laughs> but with the stencil i can always you know repaint it yeah or you you could you could just flip it around and shoot shoot the unstenciled <laughs> side and then flip it back around when you want to look at it yep but that that's a powder coated target and that's another thing that you do is that correct yes we we do uh do powder coating we generally don't powder coat our targets because we don't really see a point to it because um, the first thing you do is you shoot it all off, right? And you're going to repaint it. Yeah, you're going to repaint yeah. it. And I'd rather sell my customer target for less money. Mm -hmm. And that is one of our things we really try to do is we try to keep our price points low and our shipping low so mm -hmm. that we can get the steel into the hands of just just general Joe Schmo people. Mm -hmm. And um, we do powder coat, but it's mostly like the trophies and some of the artistic stuff. Oh, that that's right. Do. Some yes. of that custom work, artwork, yes. mm -hmm. trophies. Yeah. And so tell me about the shipping model. Your shipping model is pretty bone simple, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Uh, is It's free or 20 bucks. That's it. Mm -hmm. Is if your order is under $200, it's a $20 shipping fee. If it's over $200, it's free. So there's no shopping cart sticker shock then no. when it comes to, I hate that. When I think I can afford something until the shipping is added on and then I'm disappointed. Yes. And <laughs> it, 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 it is not fun at all when it's like, oh, okay, that's a great price on something, then what? I'm paying more in shipping than I am for the product, and we don't like that to happen. And uh, we we do a lot to uh, to shop around mm -hmm. to try to keep those shipping rates and as low as we can. We design targets specifically to ship well, mm -hmm. and we put a lot of stuff into the background to make it so that our customers can get that stuff at an affordable price. Love it. Yeah. Okay. Well. We've got a lot of work to do. I think we, we should wrap up, wrap up things here because we're going to hike straight up the mountain. We're going to be pounding T-posts. 
Make sure you subscribe with notifications because you're gonna to wanna to check out the content that we're gonna produce with all of these awesome steel targets, different types of shooting scenarios, practical field shooting, PRS prep, pistol training, all sorts of stuff. But if you're looking for steel targets, why don't you turn around, show us your URL here, d-mtargets.com. Make sure you get that dash in there. Seth will get you taken care of. He's one of the best in the business with regard to special projects. You give a lot back to the shooting community. That's one of the things yeah. that really impressed me about DM targets and why I wanted to work with you. So go to d-mtargets.com. Seth will hook you up and make sure you check out all of the awesome action coming up. Until next time, happy shooting and happy reloading. Thanks Seth for coming by. Thanks, yeah.